Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about SEO or search engine optimization. If your website is not performing the way it should be or you're not getting the traffic that you're expecting, then that may be caused by poor SEO or no SEO. So today I'm going to be teaching you a four step SEO process that I go through with every website I design. And I'll also be giving that away on my brand new website. So if you're interested, be sure to go over to my brand new website and get your copy of the SEO checklist. Without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So for this tutorial, I did create a little crappy website, but it will give you the general idea of everything I'm going to be covering. And the first thing on the checklist was page SEO. So if we go into the editor, we click this little page menus and pages icon, then you're going to have your pages right here. So if you press this little three dot button right here, SEO and Google is going to pop up. So go ahead and press that. And here you're going to be able to preview what Google is going to show when they recommend your website. So the first thing I always do is make sure that the URL slug is correct, which home that works for me. Next right here is the page title. So you can see it right here in the Google preview. This is what it's going to show. Now for me, I'm going to be doing like, SEO tutorials. Now a little pro tip is you kind of want to do camel case or whatever it's called. So you kind of start with the first letter of every word capitalize. You're going to do that for everything on the pages SEO. So SEO, that's obviously like an acronym. So we're just going to leave SEO all capitalized, but then the next word, we're going to make it capital for the first letter. And then we're gonna go ahead and put like this little line right here. Then we're gonna put the name of your website. So my little icon logo right here is like a little hexagon. So I'll just say hexagon, hexagon ink, I don't know. And then we're gonna put another line and then this is for the location. So if you are based in the United States, then you put United States. If you're like a local restaurant or local business, put the city that you're in. Be as specific or broad about this as you want, but keep in mind if you're a local restaurant store or whatever, then you need to be more, more specific. But if you're like an online store, then you can be more generic. So for this, I'm just gonna put United States. And then right here is gonna be the description. Now, typically what I do for the description is I typically grab my first paragraph that kind of explains the page or the website and I use that as my SEO description. So I'll just come over here and paste this in. Of course, this is just Wix's general filler text, but that's what I typically use. Now, if you have a, a longer description, you're going to see it's only going to allow so much. So sometimes you might have to edit stuff down to make sure it fits. And then this is a little bit of a pro tip. This is not included on the checklist. However, I always go up to the social share tab and I always update this as well. So this right here is what previews on social media. So if someone or you choose to share your web page on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or something like that, this is what is going to show. So as of right now, it grabs the same title that we used from the SEO and it also grabs the same description. However, you know, as you can see right here, it cuts off majority of it. So this one, I typically always have to cut it down even more, maybe take out some words in the middle or whatever to make sure it all fits, but make sure it's also coherent. Next, I always add an image. So if you don't have an image that you really want to use, you can either go to Unsplash and find an image that you want to use. However, my preferred method is I always preview the site. I will take a screenshot of the page or of the main image with text over it. I'll go back to the editor, menu, home, social share, add an image, upload, and then I'll drag in the screenshot that I just created and I will add that to page. So now the users that will see this will kind of see more about your page and they'll also get a glimpse of what your page is going to look like. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the about us page. We'll go over to SEO. And so you'll see about us. 
So this has that, the first letter of each word is capitalized. And then, so I like that. But right here, um, you can leave this as is. However, I recommend just keep this as simple as possible. So I would just remove the dash us. I would just keep it the about page, but the title and everything can say about us. Um, but for the sake of simplicity, as far as the URL goes, keep it simple. And then of course we're gonna do hexagon ink again and same thing United States. Okay, and then let's do the same process I did before. We'll go ahead and grab the first text or anything relevant to to the page that you want to put in your bio or like your, your the page description. Um, go ahead and grab that off your page or you can do it custom. You can write something completely different, but I recommend always putting something or pulling something from your page and putting it in there. So this is what it's gonna look like. It looks good, okay. So now let's go ahead and do the social share. So of course, same thing. Some text gets cut off. So we'll make it, make sure it fits within the boundaries. And then for this social share image, this one isn't gonna be big enough. So what I typically do is either I will duplicate the page by going up here, press the three dots and pressing duplicate, and then changing this one to be the way I want, or I will just change the main page and put it back later. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll take the main header image, I will stretch it down. Typically, I may even boost this one up to like, let's say 120 just for fun. Expand this, and then we will use the toolbar to center it. So I'll preview, and same process as before, we will screen shot this and then since this was a duplicated page i will delete just delete this one or you can put your old page back to the way it was by pressing this little undo button i'm just going to go ahead and delete the copy page okay we're going to go back to about us social share upload image and we'll do the same process as before drag in the about us social share and then and a page. There we go. So now when a user shares your page or you share it on your Facebook page or LinkedIn, this is what is gonna show. That was a little bit of a pro tip, not necessarily needed for SEO, but it's still highly recommended to do that if you want your site to seem more professional. The next thing on the checklist is image SEO. So right here, you can see there is an image. If we press this little gear icon, it's gonna allow you to link to stuff. Where does it link? Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But here, these two things, the tell Google and the tool tip, these are what the SEO is for this image. So typically right here, I'll put like hexagon ink offers cool SEO tips or something, you know, whatever this Whatever the image is next to, and whatever this text is pertaining to, I will typically use that as inspiration for what I put in this SEO section. And then here, I just kind of reword it. So I do SEO tutorials by Hexagon Inc. So that's how you do the images on your website. So I would go through your whole website, make sure all the images have the SEO, but also make sure that you do it for the icons, the vector art. Most people may not know this, but you can actually add SEO to these things as well. So I'll just press settings. And then right here, it'll say, tell Google what it is. And I will basically, since this section is kind of grouped together in a way, I will use that as inspiration for this. So I will do like hexagon ink dash and then title for whatever this would be. And then I'll actually go ahead and select the background one because these things are two things I just stacked on top of each other. So I'll actually do the same thing for the background one and do title by, there we go. So go ahead, do that for the whole site, all your pages, everything like that. And also don't forget about your logo at the top. So you can also do it here. So it'd be like hexagon ink logo. So you can either say that's your logo, or what you can say is Hexagon Inc. 
and then give like a general statement of what your website is for. There we go. That's what I would typically do. All right, so now we are done with the typical images on your website. However, as you can see on the website, there is also background images. Now, to be honest, I recently found this out a couple months ago. I didn't really even ever touch this before, but now you can actually add SEO to your background. So let's go ahead and select the strip, change strip background, we'll press settings, and then down at the bottom when you scroll down, you will see this tell Google thing. So here we'll also say something like website description. And I'm saying that because that's what the my main title is on the on my fake website. Obviously, you want to put whatever you know your your text is for your website, you want to put that there. And then also do that for down here. So change strip background, settings, scroll down, add text and then you can just put up whatever is relevant to you. So now we are done with SEO within the editor. So now let's go to settings and we'll do get found on Google. This is probably the most important SEO step that I can give you. You can do all the stuff within the editor that you want, but until you connect it to Google, Google does not consider you ready to share or to promote your website. So let's go ahead and jump over here. Then let's go to start now. Put the name of your company. And then it's gonna ask if you have a physical address or if you're an online store only or online service or store only. So this is only online. Okay, and now it's gonna ask you for three keyword phrases. Now what that means is you have to put in what your users are gonna be searching for. So if you are selling red brimmed fedora hats then that is one of the keywords that you use. So red brim fedoras or something like that. So that would be one of yours. SEO tutorials would be mine. I'm just gonna remove that, that was just an example. SEO tutorials, SEO guide, um, SEO Wix. Okay, so right here it only lets you put three. Then go ahead and press create SEO plan. It's gonna go ahead and generate a few things for you. Um, and then let's go over here and press settings. It's gonna take you to another page. Right here, it's gonna allow you to put two more keywords. And then let's go ahead and press analyze my keywords. So this is gonna generate a bunch of different keywords or more searchable phrases for you. So right here, you can see the keyword strength. This is how much people search it. And this is gonna be the phrase. So as you can see right here, this isn't a very good example because the things it's recommending aren't really related to SEO at all. Um, SEO guide, this one can't be analyzed for some reason. Okay, and then what we're gonna, as you can see here, SEO Wix doesn't have the most strength, but however, we can unselect it and press Wix SEO optimization that is very searchable on Google. And we'll just keep going down and we'll choose the best option for us. So SEO, not very searchable, or it's not very specific enough to be a very strong keyword. Uh, so we're gonna unselect this one and let's just do SEO blog. Cause I don't know, maybe Hexagon Inc is a blog about SEO tutorials. All right, so now we have the most optimized keywords for it. So we'll go ahead and press save here at the top. Okay, it's gonna take us back to our SEO plan that we started. And then right here, just go through all of these steps. So right here, change homepage SEO description. Um, and also you may have to change your title as well. So all of these that have the red dots, be sure to go into your editor, fix it, press save, and then press refresh, and it'll automatically fix it. So SEO description, um, let's say, okay, so we're gonna go to our editor. We're gonna go to pages, SEO, and then we're gonna do SEO tutorials. Now I'm making this all caps. You don't, you shouldn't do this. Um, and then obviously make sure all the text fits in there all nicely. There you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press save. Then we're gonna go back to our SEO plan, press refresh. Okay, so that one is now complete. 
optimize the home page text. So this was basically saying that my filler text that I have on my website has nothing to do with my keywords that I chose. We'll press save. We'll go back to the dash or the SEO plan and we'll press refresh again. Oh, and then right here is gonna have you put your business or site name in here. So it'll be like Hexagon Inc offers the best tutorials. There we go. Press save, go back to dashboard, refresh, and you should be good. So now right here is gonna have you choose a domain or choose a premium plan and a domain for your website. For this tutorial, obviously we won't be doing that. And then also right here, the last part, the most important part is to connect to Google. This will tell Google that you're ready for your site to be promoted on Google when people search those keywords. So step one is for the home page. We have completed it, we got a domain name, we got a premium planned, and we're gonna connect it to Google. After we're done with that, step two is optimize the rest of your pages. So home page is good, um, but your about page may not be good, or your contact page may not be good. Like, So just go through the rest of your site with this checklist. It'll make all of the recommendations for you to optimize your website even more. And then step three, it's just an SEO guide to help you um, with keywords and backlinks to everything else that help you rank higher on Google. This isn't as important in my opinion, because um, if you do the step one and step two, and you do all the steps that I gave you before in the editor, you're gonna be just fine. After you connect to Google, I would just go ahead and press publish, and then you're all set to go. And hopefully you can watch your website go from not getting traffic at all to getting a bunch of traffic. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you do wanna download that SEO checklist that I have created, be sure to jump on over to my website and claim it today. Without further ado, if you did enjoy, please press that subscribe button because I will have more tutorials coming very soon. And if you did learn something, please press that like button. It helps us rank higher in the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.